Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, we're back with another episode. I wanted to explain. No, I haven't played much lately, so I'm not really gonna explain why, because there's not really too much to it, other than the fact I just haven't been playing Minecraft and a lot of stuff's been going on. But I think I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. Hopefully, be more consistent. But uh, I have been playing on the Let's Play World just a little bit. I've actually been playing. I've been cheating though and playing on other worlds. And then I was like, man, I don't want to play on other worlds. I keep doing this thing where I create new worlds, and I never have, like, a very cool, fleshed-out world. I used to, but I, I lost a lot of them to uh, my hard drive died on me. And uh, so, yeah, I want to just play on this world. And there's a lot of different farms I want to build. For whatever reason, I'm just kind of in the mood to build farms in Minecraft. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to abandon the base building for now because I don't... I kind of fell out with this base. I don't really know if I like it that much anymore. I might honestly build a different base. We'll see. I don't know. I like the, the look of this. I think it's cool and all, but it's just not really working for me. I don't have a very clear sense of where I'm going with it. Um, I'm playing with a couple mods too, just some uh, fabric mods. Not Nothing that changes the game, just like better F3. And I actually added this mod, uh, free cam mod, which I think is very going to be very cool. Um, a lot of mods that I see a lot of like Hermitcraft users playing with. And I really like this free cam. I'm very excited about this. So when I am building, I'll be able to use this to kind of back up and see my build and be like, hmm, do I want to change that? Does that look good from a distance? Because it's very hard to tell sometimes when you're building. But one of the first things I want to do, one of the first farms I want to build is I want to build a another simple iron farm because I don't have an iron farm in this world anymore after I reset the overworld. So that is something I would like to change. And then I want to build another XP farm because this one ain't working. This just, I didn't build it big enough. It's too small and it's too tedious to mine through this deep slate, in my opinion. And I've actually found out ways of mining through deep slate better with moss, which I wish I knew back when I built this, but I hadn't discovered that yet. I did discover it, however, when I was mining out the storage room, which I'm actually trying to remember what order of events that was. So maybe I did know about it. I don't know, but I didn't use it anyway. This is bothering me. So yeah, um, I think today what we're going to do is set up a villager breeder and an iron farm because I want to do some more villager breeding. And one big thing I want to do is get more shulker boxes too and do a different kind of storage system than like this. I want to do what Etho, Etho's lab does. And he has these like this big array of hoppers set up in a way where you can put shulker boxes and they get filled with a whole bunch of different items and it refills the shulkers and then you can hook up chests to it to store a whole bunch of crap and that way you can have your ender chest with basically anything you need like when it comes to building or anything you'll have a very large variety of stuff almost like it's a creative inventory in your ender chest out of shulker boxes another thing i need is food because i ran out of golden carrots and i don't have a good way of getting emeralds to get more golden carrots right now in fact i think i'm like completely broke on emeralds let's see 12 emeralds nice i can turn some of this iron into emeralds I'll get food that way that might be what i do do i not i have a beacon don't i it's been so long since i've played i don't even remember i'm like 100 percent certain i have a beacon somewhere yeah, right there. I was going to say, I know I have a beacon. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to get up to, and uh, I'll make a progress report. Alright, what's up guys? I'm back. Um, One thing I noticed about the last clip was that maybe the in-game audio was a little bit quiet. Um, But yeah, so I've been AFK here for a while. I grabbed some villagers from this village, brought them over here. I made a little villager breeder. And as you can see, I'm actually, though, going to turn down these friendly creatures. Yeah, we got some villagers here. I don't know how many. Kind of hard to tell. I don't even see the entity counter. <laughs> but, yeah, so we got plenty of villagers now. I'm going to build an iron farm. I'm not too sure where I'm going to build it. I could build it up there. Or I was kind of thinking of maybe building it, like, right here and removing this. Yeah, I made a little farm here. Oh, it sounds so loud to me. You know what I need? I know what I need to do. There we go. That's probably better. Maybe actually that's a little loud. Let's see. We're going to go right there. I 
but yeah, so I've been just manually farming carrots, breed the villagers, and then comes the iron farm. I, uh, I was so tempted to make a little sheep, automatic sheep farm, because I figured while I'm here it'd be nice to get some wool, because I realized I don't have any, but I got lazy and I didn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, so the fun of uh, manually planting crops to get carrots, to breed villagers. I'm not too sure what iron farm I'm, I'm going to go with yet. I kind of want to try to build. I don't know. I've seen a couple different designs. I don't really know what's the best. I want quite a bit of iron for whatever reason. But yeah, so I'm going to get the materials ready that I need for that. I should have actually just... If I built the iron farm here, I should have just let that stay gone. <laughs> maybe I'll leave this here. Maybe I'll build the iron farm like somewhere else. Honestly, I might build it like right around here. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. But for now, I'm going to worry about moving villagers over and. Yeah. And just building the actual uh, component part. Okay, I wanted to show what I'm doing here a little bit. And uh, so if we go up here. We run all the way over here. You can see that's the sky. That's not a fly. I should have started up there. But yeah, as you see, villagers track is going to go down here. They're going to land down there. And I'm going to cut them off underground up there. And we'll elevate them up to the farm. I just don't want to make a whole bunch of tracks out here in the open where I can see them. Because I have to clean it up. Or at least it will look ugly if I don't. Or if it's underground, I don't even have to worry about it. And yeah, so I figure what I'd do too, just because it's easy. Look at all these grass blocks Enderman put down here. It's crazy. But yeah, so if I come down here, I figure I'm just going to make it look at least a little decent for, uh, in case I'm ever down here and, and like, oh, that looks ugly. You know, this is really not required or necessary, I mean. Nothing's required in Minecraft. Oh, wait. Where's my compass? I'm trying to... I want to know how far this way I got to go to line up with that. I should be able to tell with the compass pretty easy. Basically, like right here, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah, so I'm going to build this whole little rail system over here. And this will be my life from now on. Just the rail builder. Coming on, or coming every so often to just put some ladder fences down. Just, just like I said, I want it to look a little decent. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next foreseeable forever. I'll be down here in the mines until uh, I get old and something happens. Oh, look, the mines. Oh, look. We could come through here and go like through here maybe. Are we? We're still not quite far enough this way. It looks like we're getting very close though. Basically, as soon as that little arrow is saying we've got to go straight this way, then we know we're good. Oh yeah, look, basically like right here. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll be able to come through here and go through this cave. I would most, I would very much so like to light this up a little bit. We haven't seen any mobs yet, which is kind of surprising, but a lot of these caves are lit up, so they're probably spawning caves below us. But yeah, just to be safe rather than sorry, we're gonna make sure these caves are nice and lit up. I think when this is all set up, this should hopefully go nice. I mean, it's a villager breeder. If I lose some villagers, I can just breed more. So, because we're inhumane and in, in Minecraft, you know, I don't have my bread on me. But yeah, so we go down, around, blah, blah. Yeah, you get the gist. I will complete this up and we'll be back. Okay, so I got the iron farm all set up. Um... 
Oh, actually, you know what? I'm missing some glass right there. And that stair is the wrong way. Um, but yeah, so we need to move the villagers over here, and then we need to give them some time to take a snooze. Where's my glass? Oh, I know where it's at. It's up here. And yeah, then we need to get zombies in here. So that's going to be fun. Actually, I get some minecarts for some zombies. I'm trying to lure some zombies just right up here and trap them here. Yeah, there's my glass. But yeah, so. If I can do this right, there we go. Perfect. I guess I should have, uh. Should have just went up at the top there because I need to fix that stupid stair. But yeah, I'll leave a link to the uh, tutorial for this in the description. But yeah, so now we're going to go test out. God, my inventory is so cluttered. We're going to go see if we can get some villagers up in here. Now, I should be pretty set up to just... This should work, hopefully. But we're going to see. That didn't pick up a villager. What's going on? Do I need to... All right, I figure out what it was. Just need to move the dispenser one block back. But yeah, so I tested it out. It works. Let me get this guy on his way. Okay. Do two more. Okay, so I got all the villagers in, and I was going to start cleaning up, but I tried to fill this uh, water bubble column with the uh, gravel, and this happened. There's just gravel bouncing here now. So, I guess I'm going to have to go underneath, which I remember this should be like a hole down. Yep, and if I go right here, oh, we're not quite far enough down. Perfect, and if we just break this, that should be fine. Ow. Then if I just put some gravel... Oh, you know what I'm realizing? I should actually... Let me go back down real quick. I should put a slab down here, I think. That way I can uh, break all this gravel very easily if I need to. Just like that. Let me go back up. Drown a little bit. Nope. Cool. Okay, now cleanup should be pretty freaking easy when it comes to this stuff. Just like that. Was there not a. I think I needed to fix one of these stairs right there. Right there. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Do you two want to play a game? Okay, we got those two. Now we need to get them in before daytime. Oh wait, I don't think we actually need to name them. In the tutorial, he named them, but if they're in a minecart, they shouldn't need to be named, I don't think. Well, maybe I'll do it just in case. I already made name tags, so. Okay, so he's in there. Ow. What? Oh no! Yeah, I knew Iron Columns could spawn up here, but I wasn't really... I know I needed to terraform a lot of this land, but I was going to do that after I completed it. Hmm. We're going to have to trap this iron golem. He is not going to get by right there. No. Oh, you ain't, buddy. That's this. Right there. Yep. 
Okay, I wish you another zombie. I need to get rid of these hitboxes so I can actually see what mobs look like from a distance. I don't see any zombie. Oh, here's one right here. Look at him. He's all fancy. Come on, Mr. Zombie. I got a new home for you. They're not. Yeah, I was gonna say there's like a gap here, isn't there? Come on, buddy. Yeah, I wish I would have built this up a little bit, but you know, that was uh, hindsight. It's 2020 kind of deal. Oh, did I flip this? Oh, nope. Let me just do that, just to make sure he doesn't go into that same holding cell. Oh, we gotta hurry. You better go, mister. The sun's coming out. This one side should work though, which is fine. Oh my goodness. Just in case this takes me a second, we're gonna do that because I need to heal. What if I can just bump him in with another minecart? Mm, I need to bump it again. There we go. Oh, I don't have the name tags on me or what? I do, okay. We have Rob and Bob. This one can be Rob. So I think we can destroy that uh, dirt block. That was supposed to be a temporary block. I don't I think it was just to when you, for when you get the zombie in. Oh, that was a little stressful. Bam, bam. There we go. Oh, look, I left those blocks up there. Oh, yeah, this golems aren't even... Fret the lava blade, too. A lot to do. Hey, don't mind me, buddy. Just you keep doing your thing. I'm gonna keep doing my thing. If I can. Pretty please. Can I not see that block from here? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Makes me wonder. I guess I could just dump lava on them for now, and it's gonna create some cobblestone or whatever, but that's fine. Make a little bit of a mess, but it'll be all right. Oh, I better stop the flow of golems, though. Come on, Mr. Die. Okay. Am I really one short? What the heck? I thought, I thought it looked wrong. It was like eight. Hmm. But I didn't think too much into it. Oh, God. Jesus. This land is dangerous. Okay. Just some quick sign crafting. Okay. And then we put the lava back. This guy can go. Have fun. Ow. Okay, wow, that was an interesting endeavor, to say the least. I don't remember exactly how much of this area I need to clear out, but we definitely need to clear out quite a bit of it. I'm gonna have to look that up. I think it's like... I can't remember for the life of me actually how big of an area it is, but this is fine. Basically, I think it needs to be down like at this level right here, so... Probably just... I just try to cut back like... A 
natural path through here. I'm going to set up my beacon for this, that's for sure. Yeah, look, and then we can even use this cave to kind of help us so we can just go back that way. Yeah, this will work. Cool. Should be pretty easy. So I'm going to work on that. Um, Yeah, I think we'll see what else we can get up to. Okay, so I'm back and I'm working on a little something here, growing some wheat. And I might make another field or two, maybe probably, I don't know, I might AFK it, not worry too much about making too many, but I have another little field up here. And I'll just explain what for, but it's for next episode, because I think I'm going to end this episode here. But I do want to show you the iron farm, because I finished it, and I have been AFKing at it a lot since last time I recorded, and... It's uh, pretty full up, but more so, uh, let me show you this. I, like I said, I have an A, FK at this a lot. Look at all that iron. Insane amount of iron. Which is going to help us for our next project. So I'm going to make a creeper farm in this uh, hill right here. I'm going to try to make a very big one. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> We'll see how, see how big I make it, but yeah, so there's going to be an entrance here. This is where that abandoned portal was, and I'm going to put a beacon down here. But yeah, oh, the, hey, it's already working. I already have a creeper in it. But yeah, so right here, the beacon is going to go out up to the top there, but I need a whole bunch of target blocks for it, so that's what I'm growing all that wheat for. And it's a design I just made myself, so I don't know if it's efficient or what, but I'm going to have fun building it. That's all that really matters. And uh, I was working out so many designs. I was in a void world, but just trying to figure out how to do a creeper only farm without spiders and stuff. And that took me a minute. So that was fun, but I did eventually get it. So yeah, I'm going to work on that. And I'm going to work on digging this out probably in between episodes because I don't really feel like recording all that. Honestly, it's kind of boring. <laughs> And yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next episode.